I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Sigma Notation. Here is an example shared by one of our subscribers. So let me thank all of you for really watching my videos, posting excellent questions. And I am sure these will help many others. We need to find some of this series i cube minus 3i square where i changes from 1 to 20. So we need to know two formulas. One is what is sum of natural numbers, right? So that is one formula which you need to know. Sum of natural numbers when i changes from 1 to n is given to us as n times n plus 1 over 2. Well, we need square and cube. So we need the other two actually, which is i square, i equals to 1 to n. So when it is square, then the sum of squares will be n into n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6. And for the cube, for n i equals to 1 to n is square of this, which is n times n plus 1 over 2 whole square. So these are standard formulas which you should remember to solve such questions. Correct? Now, let us apply this formula. We basically have i to 20. So using, uh, let me rewrite the question here. So we need to sum from i equals to 1 to 20. This is another way of writing the same thing. Uh, i cube. And also, we need to sum from i equals to 1 to 20. 3 i square. Right? Now, 3 is a common factor, so it can be taken out. So we could actually write this as uh, sum from i equals to 1 to 20 for i q. We'll sub in this formula using uh, n equals to 20. Right? So we can sub substitute 20 here. Minus this one. 3 is a constant. So we can bring constant outside and rewrite our formula, which is i sum from i 1 to 20 for squares. Now, sum of cubes is all this, right? So we can write all this, which is n times n plus 1 over 2 whole square minus 3 times. Sum of squares is all this, which is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 divided by 6. Now we know n for us is 20. So we'll substitute 20 here, right? So what we get here is 20 times 20 plus 1 over 2 whole square minus 3 times 20 times 20 plus 1 times, let me write 40 plus 1 over 6. Oh, yeah. So that's it. So now we can actually use calculator to solve this question, right? If you want, you can simplify. But when we are using calculator, there is no need to simplify. So let's use the calculator. We have uh, 20 times, we can write 21, divide by 2, square this number, and then take away 3 times within brackets, 20 times 21 times 41 divided by 6 bracket close equals 2. So we get our answer which is uh, 35490. Okay. So that is how we can actually solve such a question. So I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.